All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today's gonna be a quick video. I just wanna go over Google AdSense Auto Ad. So it's a brand new uh, feature that Google AdSense just released. So um, we're in our Google AdSense account here. And what we have here, it says, you've now got auto ad set up here. So we've come under the ad section. We came into the auto ad section. Um, so what it's gonna say is ads based on global settings will start showing automatically on every page you've added the code. So what that means is right now I have global settings down here. Um, right now I just have anchor ads set up so let's just say I want to change the amount of ads I have all you do is click on change your global settings I come in here I come into text and display in feed in article matched content and vignette ads so I keep all these and I do automatically get new ad formats and I click on save and now I've updated my global settings for auto ads so it's including every single type of ad here and all I have to do to set it up is I click on set up auto ads here it's gonna give me a code and all I do is put it between the head tags of my website so copy code snippet and if I come back to my website over here you can see I have an ad at the very top of my website um, if you scroll down a little bit further you can see I have some matched content ads down here as well along with another ad down here so rather than putting in ads manually so these are all just based on the code that I put on my website I have these specifically at the bottom of the article so or at the bottom of this home page uh, so my matched content here in addition to another Google AdSense ad if I scroll up to the top you have another one up top here. Rather than me doing this manually for every single person, what Google AdSense is gonna do is actually use machine learning and use their own algorithms to, to decide which ads they're gonna place on your website. So if they see, okay, most people scroll about halfway down your page, a lot of people click over here on the left or click in one of these first areas, what they're gonna do is drop an, art, or drop an ad right in the middle of your article here, right where the people usually click. Um, so what they're gonna do is try to see the ways that people interact online, see the ways that they scroll through web pages, because we're all different. I mean, the way I scroll through a web page is a lot different than the way you scroll through a web page, than the way, you know, your friend scrolls through a web page. So um, the things we click on, the things we're interested in, it all depends on the actual person. So what Google AdSense is gonna do is say, okay, instead of your, your one size fits all approach that we're currently using, where you just add, uh, you know, a snippet of ad code wherever you want Google AdSense ads to show up, whether it's, you know, on a sidebar, whether it's at the top, at the bottom of a page, um, now all you have to do is come over to Google AdSense, uh, decide which ads you want on a global setting. You add this to your header file, and what Google AdSense does is they say, okay, here's 10 different ad placements we have on their website. What we're going to do is fill two of them with two different types of ads, and we're going to see which performs the best. And they're going to take into account the user looking at your page, the specific page that they're on, whether it's desktop or mobile, you know, how likely this person is to click a native ad versus a standard banner ad. So they're going to take into account all these different things. And overall, the goal is for Google AdSense, their goal is always to increase their earnings. Um, so if you're you know, keeping up with their updates and you're using auto ads, it's going to in turn increase your earnings because they're not going to put out a release that actually, you know, decreases their earnings. Um, so what Google AdSense wants to do is help you provide a better user experience to your guests rather than bombarding them with specific, you know, with ads all over your website. What they're going to do is say, how can we maximize the value of each individual person who's coming to your website? Um, so I highly recommend looking at their um, article here on adsense.googleblog.com. Uh, it's going to say some of the benefits of auto ads. So you can see optimization. Using machine learning, auto ads only show when they're likely to perform well and provide a good user experience. So if someone's on my page, and for example, let's see at the top here. So you can see a Wayfair ad here. So let's just say someone's searching for an area rug. So we have an area rug here. Um, so what Wayfair can do is say, okay, this person, or what Google can do is say, okay, this person's been looking for area rugs for the past two days. They're coming onto this website for area rugs. So what we're going to do is we're going to serve them an ad on Wayfair or on House or some other home decor website or whatever it is and serve them an ad based on what they're looking for. Um, so very, very you know, something you can't do yourself. Um, it's also going to say revenue opportunities. So if there's open ad space where people, you know, potentially click or, you know, there's opportunities for more revenue, that's what they're going to do. And easy to use. You don't have to worry about anything. You just put a snippet code in the top of your website and Google AdSense take care, takes care of the rest. So I'm going to add this to the top of my website now. I'd highly recommend trying it if you're already using Google AdSense. Just test your data, you know, just see what performs best. If you run this for, you know, two weeks and your earnings drop by 100 or by 50% or something like that and you're not making nearly as much, maybe you switch back to your manual method for now and go back to auto ads later. Um, I'd highly recommend using it, though, because at the end of the day, Google AdSense is going to, they want to provide a good user experience, but they also want to drive revenue for their business. And the way they drive revenue is by getting clicks on ads. So they're going to try to serve ads to people who are most likely to click on them. So definitely get started with Google AdSense auto ads. 
Um, and this is our whole entire guide today. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments. Um, if you have any questions about AdSense in general, uh, we have a couple different tutorials coming out and some different helpful guides on Google AdSense since we've been using it for, you know, five, six years now. So um, make sure you subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching our video today.